dito po sa uh, Leaders Wear Three Hats, uh, dito ko po nakita na yung ito pala, may potential pa pala ako na kailangan pang malaman para sa aking sarili how to lead the people uh, bilang isang leader. Uh, kailangan ko talagang maging efficient pa ako. Yun ang aking goal kasi na gusto kong ma-impart din yung mapag-aralan ko dito as a leader sa aking mga kasamahan sa, sa leadership. Hindi tayo pwedeng mag-settle lang kung anong kakayanan natin ngayon. Uh, marami tayong dapat matutunan. We have to keep improving ourselves, lalong-lalo na sa pagmamanage, being a leader. So, sabi nga nila, marami pang room for improvement. So, gusto natin i-level up ang ating leadership. Mahirap po talagang maging isang leader kung yung uh, leadership mo po is pa hindi balanse, maraming kulang, uh, mahirap po mag-handle ng isang uh, group. Ito pong leaders wear three hats is more on mas sapul na sapul yung personal or yung issue mo sa heart. Talagang itong lesson namin na shepherd's heart ay sobrang laki po ng impact kasi ito po ay papunta pala sa pagiging selfless. Nung pumasok ako sa uh, Leaders Wear Three Hats, na-empower po kami, ako, at alam ko po, babao, babaunin ko po yun sa aking pag sa aming church. Nakikita ko po yung sarili ko na parang meron pa palang ako minsan sa aking ministry, which is kailangan ko palang tanggalin. Unang-una, ang Leaders Wear Three Hats ay based sa 30 years na, ano, na pagpapastor ni Pastor Anthony. At kitang-kita namin na merong napatunayan na kung bakit ganito yung simbahan ngayon. At hindi yun basta-basta. It's a learning curve for us na matutunan din paano ba itatranspose into positive yung mga negative na mga sinusuong ng bawat leader. Sabi ko nga, meron akong 3R na pwedeng baunin pag uwi. So una, I am refreshed, di ba? So although sa 12 years na pagpapastor ko, ang dami ko na natutunan, but still, uh, those learnings ay parang ano pa, parang kulang pa talaga. So na-refresh ako dun sa mga sinabi ni uh, Pastor Anthony, very practical, yun yung kinakailangan natin na hindi siya uh, very bookish, na talagang based on the experience po. Pangalawa, I am rekindle na yun nga, mas lalo ako naging passionate dun sa mga bagay na pinapagawa ng Diyos. And most especially yung pangatlo, uh, I am redirected. Na yun, uh, not just only me, gusto ko kung ano yung, uh, yun nga, nagkaroon ako ng challenge or challenge na as a church, no? kung gusto natin, kung anong gusto natin mangyari sa church, dapat magsimula yun sa leader. So merong talagang redirection that it, will, it must come from me. Na kung, ano kayo, kung ano yung gusto mangyari sa church. Uh, sobrang thankful ako dahil meron tayong mga leaders na ganito na may puso, i-challenge, i-mentor, i-share yung kanilang mga experiences, uh, impart yung kanilang knowledge. Salamat sa buhay ni Pastor Anthony na aming coach ngayon na siya po yung ginagamit ng Lord para uh, may ibahagi yung kanyang experience in 30 years at napaka napakalaki ng puso niya na ibahagi po ito sa mga leaders at uh, lubos po kami nagpapasalamat ako po personally salamat kay Pastor Anthony sa kanyang pagtutulong sa amin uh, pag impart na kanyang experiences Thank you so much po sa Life Institute at uh, ito po ay malaking tulong itong mga seminars itong mga sessions na to ay talagang igugroom into leadership ang mga katulad namin na nag aspire or nag gusto namin na mas lumago pa kasi kailangan po talaga namin ng growth para sa bawat ministries na hawak po namin.
Alam niyo po, minsan ganyan ang buhay eh. First wave, second wave, third wave. Di ba ngayon yun? Di ba ngayon yun? First wave, second wave, third wave. At kung ano man ang hinto ng momentum sa buhay mo, kung anong mang wave ang stage mo ngayon, huwag ka Kung nangyari po ito kay David, the eyes of the Lord are towards the righteous. Nangyayari kay David, nangyayari kay Joseph. Ang Diyos ni David, ang Diyos ni Joseph ay iisa lang. Ang Diyos ni Joseph, ang Diyos ni David, at ang Diyos natin ay iisa lang. Kung ito ay nagawa kay Joseph, kung ito ay nagawa kay David, ito rin ang gagawin ng Panginoong Diyos para sa iyo. Wala tayo sa kamay ng pandemya. Hindi ako hawak ng pandemya. Hindi ako hawak ng virus. Hindi ako hawak ng quarantine. Hindi ako hawak ng pagkalugi. If I would be putting this in three words, in three words, what God is saying to David, what God is saying to you right now, I got you. Sagot ka ng Panginoong Diyos. Nasa kamay ka ng Panginoong Diyos. At huwag tayong matakot. God got you. We have a few minutes to spare before we start the service. So, Ate Bless, no? why don't we use this time to tag as many family and friends as we can? Yes, we are encouraging you guys. Itag mo na sa comment section yung mga kaibigan, classmate, office mate, lalong lala na relatives who you want to know Jesus. Or maybe, you know, they just need a little encouragement and this online worship service could be just the answer that they need. True. So, this last Sunday of July, for me, I want to invite my friends and mga ka-relatives at yung mga classmates sa online class. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yan. And for me naman, Ate Bless, gusto ko din i-invite yung mga class kagaya mo, classmates ko din sa PCU before, yung mga kapamilya ko, ayan, sila yung mga gusto kong i-invite dito sa service. And so we can see our COG fam tagging their fam now in yes. the comments. But speaking of comments, we want to share some comments from the previous Sundays which really blessed us. Eto Ate Bless, oh, sabi niya, Good morning, COG. Thank you, Hershey Mata, for inviting me to this online service. It's been almost a year. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of this kid and for the gift of this church in my life. Bless them, my Lord. Wow, from this comment, we can really see no, that it pays off to actually invite your friends to online church no, in this simple way because we can be a blessing to them. And you don't know how this can impact their life, diba? Right? Actually, here's another one. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Thank you, Taurus Meet, for tagging me. Blessed Sunday, everyone. So yes, keep tagging your friends in the comment because it really works. Works. Kita nyo naman sa testimonies na yan. Diba? Yes, Ate Bless. And I believe God is really working in our COG fam. He's bringing more people to His home, to His presence, no? And we're really getting bigger. Of course, God is on the move. And hindi lang through our Sunday worship, but also sa ating Saturday fellowship. Yes, we're talking about our Saturday cruise. We have men's ministry, ladies, sports, young adults, and youth empowered. Yes, you can see their schedules, guys, on your screen. Pero ba? Baka nalilito, nalilito pa sila, Ira. Mm. Saan daw ba sila sa sali sa Saturday crew? Well, ito lang yan, Ate Bless, no? Men's Ministry Fellowship for the Daddies. Ayan, Ladies Fellowship for the Mommies. Sports kung athlete ka naman or sports enthusiast. And kung single ka, millennial, yan, ganyan, sa young adults ka naman. And if you're a teenager or in high school or college, then join the Youth Empowered Fellowship naman. Ayan, and there you have it, guys. Before we start, we actually just want to congratulate our graduates of Leaders wear three hats. We have graduates from North Luzon, Metro Manila, and dito mismo from Dasma. So congratulations po sa inyo. 
And we're excited na ngayon, you can really champion God's Amen. calling in your life and in leadership. Congratulations po! And for those who are leaders of leaders, we'll be opening the next batch soon. So just stay tuned for more details. And ito na nga ating bless, no? We're about to begin our worship service, so allow us to pray for you. Ayan, sige po, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Yes, Heavenly Father, Tyler, God, we just want to praise and worship you for another day of living, Panginoon. Lord, hayaan mo for this uh, special moment. I-worship ka lang namin, Lord God, at namnamin lamang po namin ang inyong salita. Lord, bless your people. Bless the pastor. Bless the worship team, Lord God, and anoint us, Lord God. Hayaan niyo po, Panginoon, na ikaw lang po ang makita namin for this day. Lord God, tinataas ka po namin sa matamis na pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah! And thank you so much, guys, sa pagsama niyo sa amen. And please follow us on social media at COG Dasma or at COGWMPH to see more announcement and updates. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep watching sermons anytime, anywhere. Now, now, kahit nasan ka pa, you may have an open heart to receive God's blessing today. Bye for now and see you later! My hope exhausted, you will be my strength. When my mind says I'm not good enough, God, you're enough for me. I've decided I'm not giving up. You won't give up on me. You won't give up on me. Your love is holding on and it won't let go. Breaking out like an echo Your love is holding on and it won't let go I feel it breaking out like an echo Let go. 
for Jesus. We'll lift you up, up, up. We're giving you a love, love, love for everything you've done, done, done. Oh, we give you all the praise. We'll lift you up, up, up. We're giving you a love, love, love. Oh yes, God. We give you all the praise. in Matthew 11 come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light says the Lord come on give him praise today God is inviting you come on Give Him worship. God is inviting you to come to Him. Come to Him in all your heart. With all that is within you. Come on, just lift your praise to Him. Oh. And now church, can just lift your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah, God. How we worship you. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? thirst for a drink from the well Jesus is calling yes, God. oh come to the altar the Father's arms are open wide forgiveness was born
Leave behind your regrets and mistakes Come today, there's no reason to wait Jesus is coming, oh Bring your sorrows and trade them for joy From the ashes a new life is born Jesus is coming
give life. You give life. You are love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore. You restore every heart that is broken.
I just feel God's embrace. Oh, yes, God. God can hear your cries. God can hear your whisper. God, you are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will, they were created and have their being. Oh God, you have created us, and this life is for you alone, is for your glory alone. So now church, if God has given you breath of life today, if God has restored you today, if you have experienced God today, give Him praise, give Him praise, come on, just lift your worship, lift your worship. Father God, I pray that you may anoint your preacher for today, your word for today, oh God. Bless each heart, oh God. Continue to dwell in this place. Be magnified. Be glorified, oh God. We love you, Father. We bring back to you all the glory, honor, and praise. And this to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. Congratulations to Batch 9 of Leaders Wear Tree Hats. We are proud of your Life Institute journey and we're now excited to hear your champion story soon. The time for leaders to rise up is now. And yes, we're talking about you. Join the Young Leaders and Legends Fellowship happening every Sunday and let's discuss how our generation can do more for Jesus. Is it your desire to advance God's kingdom through technology? Then, let's make it happen. Join an IT webinar on July 31 at 4 p.m. by visiting facebook.com slash COG Technology or contacting Sis Natalie to register. Quality education is still obtainable in this new norm. Enroll your kids now to Caruso Christian Academy and let's transform the world one child at a time. Kindly visit their office or contact this number to inquire. KCA is also looking for teachers in math, TLE or EPP, and robotics. To be part of their faculty, kindly send your resume to carusoacademy at gmail.com. Do you want to be part of our home team? Then be a full-time servant of God through finance and security. To be one of our finance staff and marshals, please contact this number or send your resume to cogdasma at gmail.com. Now, before we hear God's word, here are a few reminders for those in the sanctuary. Please wear your face mask and face shield properly. Practice social distancing and always sanitize your hands. Also, please switch your phones to silent mode and refrain from using flash during the service. This has been Simon reminding you to stay blessed, stay connected, and enjoy the service. Hello. Good day. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Sige po. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah. And I'm so excited to share God's message today. Are you excited to listen? Amen. No po. Alam niyo po, uh, sino ba ho dito ang dog lovers? Makitaas naman ang kamay. Mga dog lovers. Yan. At alam niyo ba ho, pag tayo po ay uh, nag-a-acquire ng mga aso, no po, ito pala minsan ay hinahanap natin yung reflection ng ating traits. No po. Ang mga aso po, meron po silang distinguishing quality. Meron po silang trademark. Meron po silang traits na natutuwa po tayo. Kunyari po, ang isang labrador, sila po ay friendly. Ayan, no po, yan ang kanilang napaka-dominating traits. No po. At kaya, yan po ang favorite na aso ko po yan, lab- labrador. No po. Meron naman pong mga aso na fearless. Ayan. At uh, pag ang amo niya, ay, uh, yan ang binibili. Uh, ibig sabihin, eh, nire-reflect yung kanyang katapangan. Ayan. Meron naman pong aso na loyal, ang mga Rottweiler. No? At ang isa naman din po, ang kanyang trait ay 
stubborn. Pag yan ang aso mo daw, eh, stubborn <laughs> ang iyong traits. No po. Well, ito po ay uh, pag tayo po ay mga dog lovers. No po. At habang tinitignan ko po ito, I was thinking, what is the distinguishing mark of a Christian? Ano ba yung ating trademark? Ano ba yung stand out na traits ng isang Kristiyano? Pakiisip po para sa ating sarili. No po? Hanapin po natin ang ating sarili doon. Ano ba ang distinguishing quality ng isang Kristiyano? Well, uh, alam niyo po, two weeks ago, I have preached about the life of Abraham. And let me give you a review on that. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 6, it says here, Abraham believed the Lord and he credited it to him as righteousness. What's the distinguishing trademark of a Christian? He believes. He believes. Nananampalataya siya. No. At itong belief no po habang inaaral ko po yung buhay ni Abraham no po binabasa ko po at uh, nagre-reflect po ako doon inaaral ko po pa ulit-ulit I found out that the belief of Abraham have some components and I would love to share with you today uh, some no po of the components of his belief his belief has BTS kala niyo hindi ko kilala ang BTS ha Kilala niyo ba yan, mga millennial? No po? Meron palang BTS ang belief ni Abraham. And what's that? Ang kanyang pananampalataya ay merong best na ibinibigay. Meron siyang pagtitiwala na ibinibigay. No po? Ang kanyang pananampalataya ay merong pagtitiwala. Why? Why am I saying this? And why am I pausing here? It is because sometimes we have faith but we do not trust. We could honestly and we could easily say, I have faith, I believe. But how about the trusting? How about the trusting? Ang, ang pananampalataya po ni Abraham ay meron pong sakripisyo. May best, merong trusting, merong sacrifice. And today, I would not be tackling the whole of this. I would be tackling only the word trust. Why? Because in our time right now, sa ating panahon, sa panahon ng pandemia, na hindi natin alam ang dulo nito, hindi natin alam kailan matatapos to, we must understand kamusta po ba ang ating pananampalataya. At ang ating pananampalataya ba ay eh, merong pagtitiwala. At ang ating pagtitiwala, my trust, is it really trust or is it already rusting? Trust or us. Can we bow our heads and let us pray? Dear God, Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for bringing us into the house of prayer, in the house of worship, in the house of miracle, in the house, Lord God, of healing. And we thank you, Lord, for bringing us here. Today, we come to you. Today, we worship you. Speak to us your word. Make it as powerful as ever. And let it change us, nourish us, strengthen us. And this I pray in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen and amen. Sige po, palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon sandali. And since our topic is about trust, let me bring you to Proverbs chapter 3. And uh, we will be dwelling in this. It says here, trust in the Lord your God with all your heart. No. And as I check the word trust, uh, paborito ko po yun eh. No? Chinecheck ko po yung word. No po? Meron po ako laging word study. I found out that the word trust in the Hebrew word is batak. Ayan, mabilis pong tandaan. Bumata ka na ba? <laughs> Ang sama yata ng Tagalog ko. No? Batak na batak. No, ha? The Hebrew word for trust is batak. And meaning, it's a picture word. No po? Meaning, you throw yourself down into someone. And that is something that we do not want to do. Throwing yourself down into someone. You lie yourself down into someone, meaning to say we are in a very vulnerable position. And we don't like that. Ayaw po natin yung nasa vulnerable position ka. Gusto mo ikaw ay nasa alert position. Gusto mo ikaw ay nasa fighting position. Gusto natin tayo ay nasa defensive position. But not in a vulnerable position. But this is what God is asking from us. Vulnerable. Throw yourself down. And we don't like that. Remember, in the US, no, nagkagulo-gulo po sila dito, meron pong isang George Floyd na he was pinned to the ground. 
and it created a hysteria, chaos in America, Black Lives Matter, etc., etc. Why? Uh, hindi tama. No po, hindi tama. Uh, he was there, he was pinned to the ground involuntarily. No po, talagang idinapa po siya at nagkagulo po sa Amerika. No? Uh, involuntarily. And the Lord is asking from us, hindi lang, hindi lang involuntarily, we will be giving ourselves voluntarily to the Lord. Trust, batak, throw yourself down. And ayaw po natin yan. Kaya pag ayaw po natin yung trust, meron pong alternative. And the alternative for trust would be doubt. I don't trust, then I doubt. Minsan po, nung ako po ay bata, uh, ako po ay nanonood ng TV series, no po, 1972. Meron pong TV series na ang pamagat ay Kung Fu. Sino ba ho dito ang natatandaan nito? Pag tinaas mo ang kamay mo, magkasing edad tayo, no ha? <laughs> <laughs> diba? Merong TV series na Kung Fu and I was very young then and the master would be talking to the students. No, bata pa lang ako, natatandaan ko na po ito. At ang sabi po ng master sa kanyang student, which is easier, to trust or to doubt? And ito pong liner na ito, I was young then, no po, eight years old, no po, seven, eight years old. Natatandaan ko po at ito pong prinsipyo na ito ay It, it guided me in my life. Sa aking eskwelahan, will I trust that person or doubt that person? And I will be testing that every now and, every now and then. Uh, in the corporate world, will I trust or will I doubt? In the church, will I trust or will I doubt? Sometimes we don't want to trust and we prefer to doubt. We doubt when we say, uh, I, I, uh, hindi kita pagkakatiwalaan, baka lukohin mo ko, baka dayain mo ko, baka saktan mo ko. So, we doubt. And you know what, what I found out? When you keep on doubting in your life, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Hindi ka nagtitiwala, ganito. Hindi umuusad ang buhay mo. So you will now prefer to trust. And trusting is making yourself vulnerable. And that is not easy. Vulnerable to what? Vulnerable to pain. Vulnerable from be, being hurt by someone. Vulnerable that you, are, you will be taken advantage of. Making yourself vulnerable. At misal nga, nakakadala. Di po ba? So, pero sa aking buhay, sabi ko, I resolved to myself that I will trust, I would prefer to trust rather than doubt. Sa school, sa corporate world, basta magtitiwala ako. Masasaktan, tibali, titiwala pa rin ako. Pagdating sa church, how to run the church, I will trust. You will get hurt, but still, I have resolved to myself, I will trust. No, magtitiwala pa rin ako. More so, kung ito po ay tao-tao that you will trust, more so that it is good that we trust our God. Because when we trust our God, pag tayo po ay nagtiwala sa Panginoong Diyos, hindi nga tayo sasaktan. Amen ba ho yun? Sige nga po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. I prefer to trust. No po, magtitiwala tayo. Kaya ang akin bang pananampalataya ay eh may pagtitiwala Do I trust? Because if I do not trust, then I am rusting. Kinakalawang. Yung aking pananampalataya ay kinakalawang. And you know, you know very well sa mga may pananampalataya dito, you know very well kung kinakalawang. Alam natin yun. We know if our trust is rusting, if our belief is already rusting. So in, a, in other words, how do I trust? Now that we know what that we have to trust God, uh, paano ba magtiwala? Sabi po dito sa Proverbs, trust in the Lord your God with all of your heart. Not half, not three-fourths, but the whole heart. And for a Hebrew mind, their thinking is the heart is the center of everything. Meaning to say, it's where your thoughts is coming from. Yun po ang pananaw ng Hebrew. No po? The thoughts, the emotion, the physical, the choices. Meaning to say, the thoughts when you have bad thoughts in your life, uh, painful thoughts, uh, sleepless nights. Amen ba doon? Meron tayong mga sleepless nights because of those painful thoughts. It, it will keep you awake in the evening and then your emotion would be damaged. No po? Ma, 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 masama, masakit sa puso. Ayan, no po? Masakit sa puso. No po? Uh, the, your physical would be affected and 
wrong choices in life will be made. Wrong choices. Thoughts, na po, hindi tayo naging careful sa thoughts, natangay ang emotion, tinamaan ang physical, na po, nag-aggravate na, and then wrong choices are being made in our life. So, the Bible is telling us, no po, that above all else, in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Above all else, protect our heart. So, hindi po sinabi ng Panginoong Diyos, uh, trust the Lord with all your mind. Nope, not with all my mind, because my mind demands logic. Kakapusin. Kaya the Lord is asking us, trust the Lord with all our heart. At yan po ang continuation ng Proverbs kanina, because you have to trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. We are, we have to get understanding. Get understanding, but don't lean on it. Please get understanding, but do not rely on it. Get understanding, but do not depend on it. Why? Nung unang panahon, no po, ganito po ang kanilang understanding sa mundo. Their understanding was, the world is flat. Yan po ang understanding nila. And they will be working in that parameter. Yun ang understanding nila. Eh. The world is flat. So bago sila bumiyahi, bago sila pumalaot, the world is flat. No po? And that is their understanding. Do not depend on it. So people would be acquiring understanding and that's the thing that we should do. Acquire, tumatalino po ang tao, nagiging high-tech po ang tao, at dumating po ang panahon, sa panahon natin ngayon, 2021, ang simpleng aeroplano po ay pumapasok na sa space. Can you imagine that? That's, that's a breakthrough. Yung ordinaryong aeroplano, lumul, umaalis ng earth at pumapasok sa space. Wow. Po. At uh, yung kanyang kumpanya, no, yung kanyang kumpanya ay naghahanap na ng mga taong magtutur. It's a space tour. Murang-mura lang po. 12 million pesos sa 15 minutes. You wanna join me? <laughs> 12 million pesos no po, for 15 minutes. Sabi ko, grabe. Huh? Uh, space tour. Wow, space tour. Uh, understanding. High-tech understanding. But do not depend on it. Do not lean on it. Mag-a-advance pa kasi. Hindi pa tapos. A-advance pa. Hindi pa dyan nagtatapos yan. Uh, this is our solar system. Uh, it floats. <laughs> there is no strings attached. Diba? And people will try to explain, find a way to explain how it's happening. And maybe someday, people will be able to explain it, why it is hanging there and it's, it is in its perfect rotation. Diba? Hindi nagbabanggaan. Perfect alignment. Hindi pwedeng mapalapit, hindi pwedeng mapalayo. Perfect alignment. No? Maybe someday people will find a way to explain this. But more than that, sana po, kesa maghanap tayo ng perfect way to explain is, maitanong natin, sino ba ang may gawa niyan? Diba ho? Trust the Lord your God with all your heart. Amen? Sige nga po, palakpakan natin. Sandali ang Panginoon. And lean not in our own understanding. Hindi ako pwedeng mag-lean on my understanding. Why? This would be some of the brain disorders. Ayan po sila. No, uh, kaya I cannot lean on my understanding. Nakakalimot. Nawawala. Nasisira. No po, nagkakaproblema. Ano nga ba ulit ang pangalan mo? <laughs> Nauunawaan niyo ba ako ron? <laughs> Diba? Uh, we, we, lose, we, we lose that memory. No? That's why I cannot depend on it. Lalo na, huwag naman, na po, ma-accidente, nabagok, it's gone. Lean not on your own understanding. And so, the Lord is encouraging us, in all your ways, acknowledge Him, for He shall direct your path. Napakasarap ng pangako. He will give you direction in life. And this is what we need in life direction in life. All we have to do is acknowledge the Lord. Acknowledge. And I have another word, another term for acknowledgement. It is recognizing Him in all my ways. Whether I am going through good times or I am going through bad times, wow, 
Right now, most of us, we are going through bad, very, very, very bad times. Acknowledge Him. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Whatever we're going through right now, good or bad, acknowledge Him. For He shall direct your path. Meron po isang pastor tayo, ano po? Ito po si Pastor Jing. Ano po? Uh, minsan po siya ay nagpapastor po dito sa Dasma. And there was a time that I would be needing a pastor for COG Palangge na Ikavite. And uh, I don't have a pastor there. So I, I talk it through with Pastor Jing. I go, Pastor Jing, uh, please pray. Do you want to pastor the church? I would be assigning you in the church. Please pray if this is confirming to your heart. So later on, kinonfirm po niya, pinagpastoran niya po yung COG Palangge. And uh, uh, he would be pastoring around 20 to 25 people. Na po. That, was, that was during 2005. 20 to 25 people. Today, sila po ngayon ay running 200 people already. Na po. Yun na po ang miyembro ng kanyang iglesia. Purihin ang Panginoong Diyos. No? At dahil sa dumadami, at dahil sa laki dito sa Dasma, naku, alam niyo po yung church, pina-aircon, pinaganda, no po. At gusto pa nila palakihin dahil malaki na po, 200 na po ang tao, no. And uh, he went to the regional office, no po, sa Metro Manila Regional Office, and he would be asking for a loan, no po, applying for a loan, no po, uh, so that he could construct a bigger church. Ang kanilang plano ay hindi pang sarili, Hindi po pang kanya, no po, kung hindi para sa Panginoong Diyos. Very noble, very divine project. No po. So they went to the region and applied for a 3 million loan. So yung regional board, they have to check if he has the capacity to pay. Kung may kapasidad ang iglesia na mabayaran ng 3 million. So the regional board found out uh, you have you don't have that capacity to pay. No po? Uh, ito po yung kanilang church, maliit lang po. So, uh, walang kapasidad para makakapagbayad. So, sabi, baka pwede mong i-revise yung, yung sinasubmit na proposal. So, ni-revise, ginawang 1.5. Uh, pwede bang aprobahan ninyo ang loan? 1.5 million. Inaral po ulit ng regional board. Nako, decline. Disapprove. So, kinausap si Pastor Jing and the council of the church, uh, we are sorry to tell you that your loan application has been disapproved. Nako! Nung na-disapprove po, uh, syempre may kurot sa puso. Very noble, very divine project, and their their dreams was shut down. Na po. Sumama ang loob, sum- kumur- kunti lang naman, kumurot, sabi ng mga council, Pastor, bakit ganun? Na po. Na medyo may, may konting kurot sa puso. Ang sabi po ng pastor, o nga eh, makakasama ng loob, pero huwag kayo mag-alala. May magandang plano ang Panginoong Diyos. Huwag sasama ang loob natin. May magandang plano ang Panginoong Diyos. He applied for the loan that was two years ago. And you know what? After two years, sa panahon ngayon ng pandemia, can you imagine, may out of the blues, somebody donated 1.5 million to the church. Just like that. Just like that. At ngayon po ay kinoconstruct na yung kanyang simbahan. Hindi utang. Bigay. Donation. Eh kung sumama yung loob mo. No? Kung yung two years ago eh masama ang loob mo. Kung yung two years ago eh umayaw ka na. Kung yung two years ago eh nagtampo ka na. Eh, eh, oh, hindi mo alam meron palang after two years. Hindi pala utang. Ang gusto ni Lord, may ibibigay pala sa iyo. Hindi mo na kailangan bayaran. Bigay na lang para sa iyo yan. Wow. May tampo ka ba sa Diyos? May sama ka ba ng loob sa Panginoong Diyos? Sumasama ang loob natin kasi hindi natin naiintindihan. Yun lang yun. Hindi mo lang naiintindihan. Pero hindi, hindi para magplano ang Diyos sa iyo ng hindi maganda. In all your ways, Acknowledge Him. And He shall direct your path. Good future. Good future for you. Hindi mo lang maiintindihan ngayon. Hindi natin maiintindihan. Pero maganda ang kalalabasan. Purihin ng Panginoong Diyos. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Sometimes what we see, we want to get. Sometimes, uh, we have our own understanding and that's it. Uh, hindi na po tayo 
teachable. Kung ano nakita, kung ano nadam, kung ano ang nadama, kung ano ang pagkakaunawa, hindi na po natin binabago. And the Proverbs is telling us, do not be wise in your own eyes. May we be teachable. Kasi po, pag yung nakita mo lang, ayakala mo, yun na ang okay, baka samain po tayo. Baka hindi po, ang kalalag- hindi po maganda ang ating kalalagyan. Di ba ho, natatandaan natin sa Genesis chapter 3, verse 6, Adam and Eve story. Let me just go back there, no po, sa panahon ni Adam and Eve. So when the woman saw with her two eyes. So when the woman saw that the tree was good, not bad, that the, that the tree was good for food, not rotten, but good, meaning this is what I need, this is the necessity of life. Good for food, hindi naman bulok, maganda naman, pleasant to the eye, and I would be lasting for it. I want it, it's pleasant, and I would be desiring it, I would be coveting this to make one wise. She took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave it to her husband with her, and he ate. Pleasant, good, desirable, and the world fell apart. Sin came into the world. Not everything that is good to us is good to the Lord. Hindi lahat ng good, not everything that is good, pleasant, desirable, is okay with the Lord. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Uulitin ko po, ano po uulit, uulitin ko po, hindi lahat ng good, hindi lahat ng pleasant, Desirable. Okay na to. Kailangan ko to. Eh, hindi lahat ng ito ay okay sa Panginoong Diyos. That is why, trust in the Lord your God with all your heart. And this proverb continued by saying, this is how we should do it. This is how we should do it. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Depart from evil. When I say depart, we shouldn't cuddle. When I say depart, do not justify evil. When I say depart, we shouldn't entertain. We shouldn't toy with evil. We shouldn't play with evil. Depart. Run away. This is how we should do it. Para maging maayos po ang ating buhay. No po. And that is why when we are saying this, kasi minsan parang ang sarap ng evil. <laughs> parang we love to cuddle evil. And that is why this proverb is always reminding us, trust the Lord your God. It's a matter of trust or rust. I trust or my faith is already rusting. At habang paulit-ulit ko pong inaaral itong mensaheng ito, gusto ko pong lagyan ng meaning yung letter T ng trust. Sometimes we drop the T, and what are we dropping? We're dropping the traits that has been developed with us, the distinguishing marks, the distinguishing quality of a Christian. Alam niyo po, nung tayo po ay hindi Kristiyano, tayo po ay hindi palabasan ng Bible. Hindi tayo Kristiyano eh. Pero nung tayo po ay naging mananampalataya, palabasan na tayo ng Bible. Amen? Naku, tatlo ang sumagot. <laughs> <laughs> di ba yun ang mukhang nasira yung mensahe ko <laughs> di ba? nung tayo po ay naging kristyano na we love to read the word of the Lord we devour the word of the Lord this has become our traits we have developed this attitude in reading the word amen ba po yun? dati po nang hindi tayo kristyano hindi tayo nananalangin di ba? pag gumising tayo natulog tayo we really don't care kumain tayo we don't care but When we became a Christian, it has become our trait. Bago kumain, nananalangin. Bago matulog, nananalangin. Pagkagising, nananalangin tayo. Amen ba ho yun? Ayun, dumami-dami na. Tama yung kongregasyong kausap ko. No? We, uh, our trait would be to read the Bible, di ba ho? Uh, pray. We go to church. That's our trait. That's our trademark. That is our distinguishing quality. to come to church on a Sunday. Why? Because we are God-fearing people. But what the pandemic has done to us, these traits has been slowly, it has slowly been eliminated. Binubura. Namumroblema tayo, nawawala na tayong mag- nanggana basahin ang Biblia. Uh, 
hindi na naala, natin alam paano magpe-pray sa nangyayaring sitwasyon. At inalis pa ang pagsamba. Tinakot, tinakot ang mga senior, pinagbawala ng bata, at yung mga gitna, bahala ka na sa buhay mo. The traits. The traits is being eroded. Are we trusting or are we rusting? Ina-erode yung traits eh. Kaya pag bumalik po ako sa Biblia, babalik lang po ako sandali. No? Kasi ito yung sabi sa Psalm 84 verse 10. Ang sabi po rito, Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. Yun ang, yun ang pagkakaalam ko eh. Yun ang alam ko na kailangan kong ma-develop na ugali ng isang Kristiyano. Better one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. Ano ba yung court? Tennis court? Basketball court? Ano ba tong court na to? At sinundan pa, I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. We can identify the house of God. And I want to go to church. I really want to go to church. Inilalaban ko po yun. Minsan po, na-share ko na po ito. Makikita niyo po ito sa YouTube. Naka-file naman to doon. Minsan po, napag- Tinigilan na po tayo sumamba. No? Mag-online ka na lang. Sa isang pastor, mabilis po yung trabaho ko. Recorded ang preaching, isang beses lang. Sandali lang yon Isa, dalawang oras, tapos na ako. Tapos na trabaho ko. Pag Sunday, pambihira. Sa talambuhay ko, ngayon lang po ako, kukuya-kuya ako, isa bahay. <laughs> diba? I would sip my coffee, I would sip my sweet juice, enjoy my veranda, and that is Sunday. And I was enjoying it. Promise, I won't lie to you. I was really enjoying it. But it struck my heart. I go, Lord, hindi pwede to. Hindi pwede yung ganito, Panginoong Diyos, na linggo nag enjoy na lang ako rito. We will open the church. I- ilalaban natin to. Ilalaban natin ang unti-unti ito. At pag tinitignan ko po ang pangyayari sa isang taon at mahigit na itong pandemya, Nagre-reflect lang po ako. Nag-a-analyze. Pag lumabas ka ng bahay, patay. Pag nasa bahay, patay din. Tama ba ako? Lumabas, patay. Sa bahay, patay din. Sabi ko, pambihira. Eh ako, sabi ko, akin lang naman to. No? Ilalaban ko na to. Ilalaban ko na yung pananampalataya ko. Ang hirap naman ang namatay. Namatay ka na, hindi ka pa nakasimba. <laughs> Akin lang po yun. No? Ilalaban ko na to sabi ko. Ayoko yung aking pananampalataya ay kinakalawang. Yung aking pagtitiwala ay kinakalawang na. I have to bring back the traits. The trait, the trademark, the distinguishing quality of a Christian. Yung kanyang pananampalataya, nagtitiwala, inilalaban niya yun. Kailangan ilaban niya yun. Because this is what I have read from the Word. Blessed, better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. Mamarapatin ko pa na sa tahanan ako ng Diyos kesa kung saan man, sa anong libong magagandang lugar man yan. Mas maganda ang lugar, ang tahanan ng Panginoong Diyos. Doon dapat ang Kristiyano sa bahay ng Panginoong Diyos. And when we trust the Lord, Verse 8, the last verse for this message. It will be health to your flesh. Ganun pala yun. Yung pagtitiwala, it will be health for your flesh and strength to your bone, your structure, your structural design. It will be health for your flesh and strength to your structural design. I love that. And so, As a recap, when I trust, what do you mean by trust? Lord, paano ba ako magtitiwala? Paano, paano ba yung pananampalatayang nagtitiwala? Ano ba yung tiwala? Trust is with my whole heart. And sometimes when I trust, it becomes illogical. Another word for batak, another definition for batak is careless. Being careless. Whole heart, illogical, I will recognize you in all of my ways. Teachable heart, not everything I see is what I should get. And I have to fear the Lord. 
And when this is how I trust you, Lord, what would be the benefits? Two things that would be given to me when I trust the Lord in this manner. From the verse that we have read, two things. And what's that? It's life direction. Somebody needs that today. Life's direction. And seconds, very important, my health. Kailangan ko ng kalusugan. Health for your flesh and strength for your bones. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord your God with all of your heart and lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. Let me end this message by sharing you this story. Ito pong si Joshua and Janet, sila po ay mag-asawa na naglilingkod po sa iglesia. Full-time workers po ng ating church and Joshua would be the one leading the band, the music, music, uh, musicians, ministry head. Yun po ang kanya ministry. And the wife, Janet, si Janet po ay uh, nasa white light production, yung theater arts production po ng ating church. Na po. And these people, these two, I, I can guarantee you, na po, I am a witness, sila po ay naglingkod ng wala kang maririnig na reklamo, murmuring, they will just love to serve the Lord. Na po, itong, itong mag-asawa pong ito. Five years ago, the couple were praying for a child. Na po, limang taon na po lumilipas, wala po silang baby, hindi sila magka-baby. Faithful sila sa Panginoong Diyos na naglilingkod, pero limang taon, walang baby. At itong panahon ng pandemya, 2021, aba, suddenly, nag-positive. Ang bihira. Ito ang magandang positive. <laughs> Diba? Ito yung magandang positive. No? At uh, tuwan-tuwa po yung mag-asawa. The couple were so happy. Facebook na nila. Inadvertise na. Nilagay sa Instagram. Nilagay sa My Day. Nilagay kung saan-saan. Uh, the church was uh, celebrating with them. No po, masaya. Masayang masaya din po ang pastor. And finally, uh, the reward of the Lord. No po, a baby. And in their regular checkup, after three months, regular checkup, no po, talagang iniingatan po nila yung bata. The doctor told them after, on the third month, the child doesn't have the heartbeat. There's no pulse, no heartbeat. So we have to remove it. Nung yung pastor, nalaman ko na po yung sitwasyon, I have to give them space. I have to be very careful, oh, very careful talking with them. Just give them that space. No? Uh, mahirap po yung pinagdadaanan. Meron silang mga tanong, siguro. Uh, ako, alam niyo naman, ayoko magtanong kay Lord. Pero nai-preach ko na minsan, ang ibinigay ni Lord, hindi nababawiin. You remember my preaching? Naibigay na, hindi nababawian. Pero ito, hindi ko lang naiintindihan. Pag hindi ko naiintindihan, hindi ibig sabihin magagalit ako. Pag hindi ko naiintindihan, hindi ibig sabihin mangkaaway ako. Pag hindi ko naiintindihan, hindi ibig sabihin magtatampo ako. Hindi ko lang naiintindihan. Yun lang yun. Hindi ko lang naiintindihan. Doon, ganun lang yun. So, minsan nakita ko si Joshua nasa opisina ko na preparing for my three hat seminar. Sorry, ito na. Masaya siya. Ba, nakapasok na. Joshua, kamusta ka na? Tumulo na po yung luha. Sabi niya, Pastor, uh, yun nangyari yun, nawala na yung baby ko. When I lost my baby, first thing that came out from my word, from my, from my mouth, the first thing that came out was, Thank you, Lord. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Yun ang unang lumabas sa kanyang baby. Sabi ko, bakit? Bakit thank you, Lord? Una, Because the Lord gave me the privilege to be a father for three months. Pinagbigyan ako ng Panginoong Diyos na magiging tatay ng tatlong buwan kahit hindi ko nakikita. Pangalawa, sabi niya, bakit thank you Lord? Kasi ayokong magkaroon ako ng negative thoughts. Ayokong didimonyohin ako. Ayoko may masasabi akong pangit. Ayoko may magagawa akong pangit. Kaya thank you, Lord. Hindi ko naintindihan, pero thank you, Lord. Kaya simba ako, gusto ko na magtrabaho sa church. 
ayokong mag-negative thoughts. Thank you, Lord. Trusting God. Though we don't understand. Though what's happening to you, what's happening to me, what's happening to them, we don't understand. But I will put my trust in you. I will just put my trust in you. It's either we trust or we rust. As I end this message, the one playing the keyboard, she just came back. Pauupo lang yan dyan, tuktok. Oh, habi ko, Dana, tagal mo nawala. Oh, pastor eh, sabi nga sa akin. Bakit? Sabi ko, ba't ka matagal nawala? Nakunan ako eh. Talaga. Dalawang beses. And bigyan mo lang ng konting lakas. Ito na naman. Hindi lahat po nang nandito sa harap ay ayos. Hindi po lahat ng tutuktog or magpipreach ay okay. Hindi okay. But we just have to put our trust in the Lord. Yung may mga patotoo kaming ganito na hindi naman maganda. Wala pang magandang ending. Pero patotoo pa rin. Bakit yung ganong walang parang walang ending makarelate ang bawat isa sa atin. Na kahit ganun ang sinasapit, magpapatuloy pa rin maglingkod sa Diyos. Kung ganito sila, kung ganito kami, sana ikaw din. Sana ikaw din. Meron tayong mga dahilan na gawin na ang ating pananampalataya na walang pagtitiwala. May mga dahilan. Huwag naman. Huwag naman. Let there be trust in our faith, in our belief. Can we all rise? And so, Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this message. Thank you, Lord, for inculcating to us the traits that we must have, Lord, the belief that we must have. And today, Lord, forgive us if our trust is rusting, Lord God. Let it be trusting you rather than doubting you, O Lord God. Teach us your ways, Lord God. Teach us to put our trust in you alone, Lord God. Whatever the situation may be, in all our ways, in all my ways, allow us to recognize you. Direct our path, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Church, as the worship team sings this song, let it be our prayer. In Jesus' name.
Trust in the Lord your God with all of your heart. Sige po, palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. And lean not, lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let my fear be upon you not on anything else, but upon you, O Lord. And Heavenly Father, thank you for your message. And let our trust not be rusting, O Lord God. Teach us your ways, O Lord God. Ilaban namin ang pananampalataya namin ito. And Lord, today, before we leave your holy sanctuary, we lift up to you our tithes and our offering. And we are giving this with much trust, O Lord God much trust. Let your blessing be upon your children so that we will be a pipeline of your blessing to many people, Lord God. Bless us. Favor us. Open heaven for us. And allow us to be the channel of blessing. And as we leave this place, your holy place, let your favor, let your power, let your blessing, let your love and protection, let your peace be upon your people. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Have a great Sunday. God bless you. We believe that message just hit right in the heart. Hindi ko lang naiintindihan. 
Ira, what if you don't understand the situation? Mm. Kaya mo pa ba magtiwala sa Diyos? At ibla sabi nga ni Pastor Anthony kanina, no, hindi kasi pwedeng naniniwala ka lang. Dapat nagtitiwala ka rin. With faith comes trust. Believing comes with trusting Him. Kasi siya, siya ang may alam ng mamaya, ng bukas, ng future, the rest of your lives, di ba? And even eternity, Amen. He holds it. So, if you have been moved by God today, and you want to know more about trusting God, please click the Zoom link in the caption to connect with our COG family or simply leave your prayer request in the comments and our friendly moderators will connect you to COG Lifeline. Now, if it's your first time to join us, please type new here so we can message you and get to know you more. Also, if you want to be part of a ministry naman, please type I want to be involved and start serving God with us. We also want to remind you to stay faithful in your tithes and offering. If you cannot go to church yet, you may choose to give contactless through GCash, Paymaya, and online or mobile banking. For further instruction, please go to cogdasma.com slash give. So that's it. Salamat po sa pagsama niyo sa amin ngayong linggo and we can't wait to be with you again next Sunday. And we know that you have been blessed and we pray na maging blessing din po kayo sa lahat ng inyong family and friends. This has been Blessa and Ira from White Light Creative Productions. Thank you guys and God, God bless, bless you! you. God is so eager to bless us. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay excited i-bless ka. Hindi mo pa hinihingi. Gusto na ibigay ng Panginoong Diyos atat na atat na pagpalain ng kanyang mga anak. So eager, so excited, so willing to bless us. Kung gusto natin ng blessing, mas gusto ng Diyos na ibigay niya ito sa iyo. This Bible, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You have to form a habit. You have to make a habit. You don't get out from that pattern because once you depart from that pattern, then you will get lost. At yun po ang ginawa ng pandemya po sa ating buhay. Sinira yung pattern. Suddenly, we stop Ang, ang hirap, i-restart. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. It is not a walk in the park. But the promise of the Lord is this, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Kung anuman ang pinagdadaanan mo sa buhay, this is the word of the Lord for you tonight. I got you.